Go. Wait, let me just... Fuck. What was it? Oh, it's 50-50. Right. Found a friend. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's the audience. <laughs> That's just that's that's like, like, you two. It's going to be 50-50. <laughs> Hello guys, it's that time again for Tripod Talk. If this is the first time that you've listened to us or seen any of our stuff, then we're going to be here to talk about films and everything film related. Yes, we are. At least you're not going, hello. Hello. <laughs> the more I listened, the more I got annoyed at that. <laughs> Maybe you buzzer. I know. No. Yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> Each week we're going to talk about a new genre and this week it's going to be 80s action why did we pick that because it's awesome that's all i got <laughs> <laughs> okay all right to kick start that off you chose a film last week which did you pick ah uh, yes yeah, so i gave you guys the recommendation of beverly hills cop one of my favorite films of all time with one of my favorite characters of all time mr axel foley what did you guys think I really enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. It reminded me of that whole, I forgot about it happened, but in all those 80s films, they do a thing where uh, they play like really funky, upbeat music in between yeah. scenes yeah. to make you not realise the awful things going on. Yeah. So it, just, it just makes it not real. Like you, That's how they make them comedies. Yeah. So? I, would, I don't think I would have liked it unless Eddie Murphy was in it. That's probably fair. Like the entire film. I like the cheesiness of it, and I like the, oh, what was his name? Billy. Uh, yeah. I absolutely loved Billy, but other than that, if it wasn't Eddie Murphy, I feel like it'd probably be a bit. I like the villain as well. Do you know the whole like the yeah. non-American accent? It's like yeah. a mix of like, German <laughs> and English. They're just vaguely suspicious of anybody. And... Yeah. And then if, unless unless this is probably it's probably a big fact right now, but I remember telling you about it. But it's one of the first film appearances of if anyone's seen Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, Jonathan Banks. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. plays Mike in that. That's one of his first films, I, th- I believe. It's creepy, like, dead-eyed, asymmetric yeah. face. We're seeing it's it with hair. weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was strange, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, do you know which dog? We've spoke about this. We're branching off. There's a cartoon dog. I don't know whether it's to do with Looney Tunes or anything. That has the droopy eyes. This has nothing to do with Beverly oh, yeah, Rose Cop. It has okay. everything to Are do with the Are you trying to say he looks like the... <laughs> <laughs> not, not goofy. Okay. No, um, no, he's a dog. I know and you it's mean, like though, down and he eyes. talks. Rrr, with, rrr, rrr. Yeah. Yeah, I know you mean. <laughs> no, no, that was a really bad impression yeah. of it. But it, it was all right. Like, <laughs> well, that was his name. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying the Churchill dog. There's another no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And no one's ever known which one I was on. About. I know who you mean. Yeah. yeah. Do you know? It's not Pluto. I'm thinking it's not Pluto. It's not Pluto. No, no. I'm just trying to think cartoon dogs. No, I don't feel it's anything to do with the Mickey Mouse lot. It feels more like. Super Looney t- <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Comment. All right, yeah, if, if anyone knows what we're on <laughs> about, comment. please comment down below so we can find out. Yeah, I'd love that. Also, let me know what you thought of Beverly Hills Cop, because I love that film. And I'm glad you guys did, too. Yeah, it was cool. Eddie Murphy yeah. makes it with his weird Eddie Murphy laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it felt dubbed <laughs> the entire... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 it just felt so like, dubbed. Yeah. I swear Jimmy can. I was going to say... Happen. yeah. I love Jimmy Kessler. <laughs> I can't do it. That was you've, done b- you've done better. I've shame. done better, yeah. We've seen. Yeah, we well. have. You're the impressions guy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Making that clear. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Of what? Jimmy Kessler. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally my best guy. You just can't right. breathe. I just inhaled, yeah. <laughs> Shory says he like breathes in when he should be breathing out, so yeah. I was trying to do that. I wish it would have caught your face, so we could have put that on there. <laughs> if I take a picture of that, I'll put it as a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> it's just asthmatic choking, brown man. That's that's your other persona on mine. <laughs> Adil, aka the Dominatrix Sado. I don't know what I'm saying. Right, well, we're talking about the switch. So. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, pull it together. I want to. I want to break <laughs> off this. Uh, this weirdness. I want to jump straight into the draft, if you don't mind. Oh no! Please explain what the draft is to people who have not heard of this before. So natural. Very natural. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I did it. Okay. <laughs> okay. The draft is where I bring a scenario to the boys. The boys. Yeah. I love boys. the boys. And depending on the scenario, you have to pick four characters. Three to four, I'm going to say for this one. Three to four characters to help you in that scenario. 
All right. to do with the genre of the week. So this week you have to pick people from 80s action, obviously. Obviously. Well, yeah, because it's... Oh, yeah, because it's... Eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, nice one, yeah. <laughs> Why do you make my job so much harder? Uh, okay. <laughs> Picture this. Oh no. Oh Jesus. There have been problems with local drug use in the city. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and many of your friends have died getting caught up in this. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Shit. Right, yeah. You need to pick three or four people to form a vigilante group. <gasps> <laughs> to help yes. you out. Oh. You must explain all reasons why, how they can help you, but you also must say the problems that could arise from picking these characters. I don't have any. Matt? <laughs> <laughs> it's I've your turn got, first. I've already week. got a solid team uh, lined up. Are you up. picking three or four? There's definitely going to be oh, crossover. Do you, do you go with three or four? I'm happy to do three. Yeah? Oh, you can no. do four. I've got such a you good list. Someone, yeah. That's why. I mean, I'm thinking of this on the spot. Um, <laughs> right. Don't use any of mine because I'm in trouble. Right. Okay. Well, I've got one. Whether you let me have it, I'll I'll pitch it first. Okay. He is no a, an all American boy who will always be there whenever you need him, and that is the good old Superman. Oh. <laughs> I mean, how can you beat a Superman yeah, that's kind in of a cheating, gang? Because that's a superhero. They get their own category. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, I, that's why I said pitch, just in case. Yeah, All right. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just changed time. And I'm already there would have been no more drugs. That would have been my argument. But okay. Right, we'll, we'll go with someone a little bit more down to earth. Okay. <laughs> right. His name is Dutch. Oh, you know Dutch? Rings a bell. He yeah, rings a bell. He's the, he's the guy who faces predators. In Predator, <laughs> good old Arnold Schwarzenegger over here. Oh, okay. Good pronunciation. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a good old lad who knows how to handle himself in a jungle, so obviously he can handle himself in a city. Against invisible creatures? What about visible ones right in front of him? Bang! Oh. Dead. Alright, I have a, I have a question for you after oh, no. you've said all of you. I was going really cocky, I was like, your turn, son. <laughs> Is that still three? Got a few more. Yeah, oh, wait, am I doing all three? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I thought we were going one at one. Wait, all right. You question, or do you want to ask him? I'll that? ask it after he said all three of his. Alright, so we're going to need someone to get about the place, aren't we? It's a big city, big place, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. Also, you're going to need a lad who's also a bit of a rough smuggler. Smuggler, eh? It's only Han Solo. Ah, didn't <laughs> He's got the Millennium Falcon. He dr- he smuggles drugs. At least in the old canon, I think it used to be anyway. But okay. he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. He knows the situation. He knows how to handle people. And he does Plus, have a deep down good heart. Sweet ride. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> okay. So for my final guy, I'm not going to go with Axel. Because we've, we've just talked about him. Okay. So I'm gonna. Well, you, you got to even things up. You got to get your feminine side out, haven't you? Oh God! <laughs> For the lads. For the lads. <laughs> <laughs> to sort out these situations, but she also got got to handle herself as well, hasn't she? Where are you going? Where's this going? I don't know at all. Ripley. Oh, Alien. She was on the list. No, oh. aliens. Sorry. Yeah. Aliens. Yeah. Because she knows space as well, but she also she also knows people. Why are you obsessed with space? This isn't anything <laughs> yeah. to do with space. It's just, they can handle situations out of this world, so obviously they can handle situations in this world. Completely different areas. It's not. It's not. Definitely is. <laughs> yeah. <Yeah>. Unsurprisingly. <laughs> right. Okay. Deal. All right. I did, have, I did have Batman on that list. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Batman when you were thinking of it. All right. So for my first person, I'm going to pick someone who is... Got experience with warfare, both guerrilla and probably in cities. He had a hard life, and he's a good. He's got a good person morally, so we know we could we could rein him in at the end mm-hmm. when when we need to stop this thing. But I'm going with Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to set a whole underground assault. The problem with drugs is they can't find it on the top level, on a big level. But we just set Rambo in by himself, send him in the streets, mm. give it three nights, and everyone will be dead, and there'll be no more drugs left. All right. And then he'll just go and retire on a farm or whatever until I need him again. All right. Have you paid for the farm or is this like a kind of free roam thing? Then? No, you're, he, you're free now. Well, he will just still got the tag on just because one of the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> so he can have some dead person's farm. All right. He, that's his uh, commission. 
that he gets, <laughs> he gets farmers for his kills. <laughs> well, old man's got to eat. Then I'm going to pick another person who's very single-minded and who is uh, almost robotic in their... Uh... That's my other one, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to take the Terminator. We can just program him, deal with the drug war. <laughs> Doesn't let up. Not human is an advantage. <laughs> um, there is honestly, that. He could probably work quite well with Rambo because they both... As they don't work themselves, but they're not going to get in each other's way. They both yeah. easily. So you just program Terminator not to have a problem, and Rambo will just you can't kill him because he's got a giant knife anyway. My next person, I'm gonna pick. Um, <laughs> just for the shock factor of seeing a clone, I'm gonna pick Rocky. So then I'm just gonna tag him along. <laughs> All the people who are gonna be tripping, they're gonna be like, "Oh shit, I need to get clean." <laughs> I'm seeing two classic '80s heroes trying to get me off this stuff, <laughs> and uh, that that'll have the effect. Also, if anyone wants to punch in again, he's just a good guy, so we'll keep stuff in check. Uh-huh. He can do the mentoring, like with the little kid he does. What she called Marie. That's a deep cut for you Rocky fans. <laughs> but anyway, he can kind of mentor people on their way up, and then discipline way to way to take you out of that kind of world. So he starts a gym. We get all the crackheads boxing. Jeez. It's fine. I feel like they'll just dump all over your team. <laughs> Hang up. Right. I, I made more effort with reasons, I think. My, my, you were just excited yeah. with your characters. My question <laughs> was why you didn't pick the Terminator. Yeah. Terminator was kind his... of a no-brainer. Yeah. I was convinced Terminator would go. But I thought I'd go a little bit more down to earth. you got to have someone who knows what the like. So you went with one from space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what was it and your answer? argument is... They know what to do in, in space. space. <laughs> so Earth's easy. Well, they've done space for them. <laughs> they've had space issues. To right, <laughs> all right. So we've got an experienced drug smuggler who knows exactly what he's doing in this situation. He knows Not how people are like. All right, sorry. I always end up just arguing against you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't fine. think it's like the intention. But he's got to do it. He can't do it in space. He does it down on a planet. So he knows how to interact with people in different cities and different places. So obviously he knows where he's going about. Mm. He has his contacts. He knows ex- exactly where things are going in and out of the city. So he, he knows where to cut off the points of access, you see. So then, that's when we get our boy Dutch in. Dutch, <laughs> right? Comes in with the guns. He's blazing, right? Anyone who's not giving up the drugs, fuck them up, you know. What the hell? That was my That was, that was pretty That, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> was it your best word? <laughs> Right, okay. It was your face. <laughs> you were like, you were like doubting yourself as you, you said it. You switched before you said it. <laughs> right, and if anyone has a problem with him, hmm. obviously Ripley just does all the cleaning up afterwards. She takes everyone's soft side. She's like, you know what? Cut the shit. I know what I'm doing. Give me the, give me the drugs, and it's fine. I don't know how much the actual like experience they have though. That's practically yeah. useful. And also, Hans, isn't Han Solo kind of preoccupied with the fact that like he's got an evil son, and he hasn't seen the mother? This of is child. still in the eighties. Is this still? Oh, he doesn't have an evil son yet. <laughs> no, no evil son. What else? Does that count? Is are we still in the eighties? We're still in the eighties. Does Chewbacca yeah. come with him? Because I feel like that would be a real. You should have picked Chewbacca instead of Solo, to be honest. What he's got the he's the ride. But like, I don't. Does he count as the he team? He can't count as the team though. Yeah, I would have picked him. I would have picked him alone. <laughs> Just <laughs> chewy, and you can have your extra two people. <laughs> I would have said a giant bear human <laughs> around, and that's going to deal with any issues I might ever have a problem with. He's also got like a laser gun. He does, yeah, the crossbow. That helps. He has wow. great, great banner. <laughs> what? It's top banner. <laughs> it's lasted 30 years. This is a great day for my impressions. <laughs> <laughs> like a showcase for you. <laughs> Is that, is that the draft done? <laughs> I, think, I can't think have of you got any questions to take down. Yeah, have you got a question? Um, questions. You can have you got questions? questions. Come on, be questions. prepared. Get your shit together. Questions? Okay. Questions? Just <laughs> <laughs> off the top I of your head. Any questions. Off the top of your head without looking at your list. Right, looking away. If you could add one more person without looking at your list. Sorry, I'm not looking at my list. Oh. <laughs> um, Who would you add to it to 80s sort of. action person. Yeah, to sort of. Like, fix the problems that you've both found out in each other's lists. So, preferably, no one's facey. <laughs> um, Dill? <laughs> <laughs> right, fine, this is a cop. I'm going to continue the Sylvester Stallone theme. I'm going to pick. No, you can't have which three one, of it. Which one, yeah, I have. <laughs> I'll have three of him. Whichever one of him is from Tango or Cash, whichever one he is, because that he's like the organised person, he's got it together. I'm going to put him in more of a kind of overseeing role. Mm-hmm. He looks good in suits. 
<laughs> top jawline. <laughs> so, so, so he could do all the admin stuff, and these other people can just be on the ground. And also, he's still a policeman, so he can he can do some exaggerated flips. That's clearly a stuntman and stuff like that as well in there. All right. Okay. Now, mainly because I can't remember what's on my list anymore, so I'm going to have to go on the top of my head. Okay. But I'm thinking, just in case, because we've got to flush out all the sources of these drugs, right? We've got to get them out. We've got to get the city clean, yeah? Okay. So you've got to have someone who's got to know exactly where to go to explore things. Is it, oh, here we go. There okay. it is. There yeah. it is. Indiana Jones. There we go. So you've got two hours of <laughs> Yes. If you can triple up, I can at least double. Actually, you know, I might actually, it's not good to double up, is it? When I, <laughs> you know, when I was doing research before, and I was like, "No way, is that him?" I didn't know Harrison Ford was Indiana Jones. No, was Indiana Jones? <laughs> was no. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Well, I don't think I can pick between the two. Cop <laughs> out. <such> <laughs> but what were the results from last week, Matt? They were. Matt won the quiz. I won the quiz last week, but the debate. I feel like Dill. Well, the Dill did win it. As... <laughs> I feel he won it. So sixty percent to him. So congratulations. But thank, thank you. Everyone's on my side this time. We'll May see. the force be with us. Come on, he guys. did have a. St- okay, hands <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, wrong film. Shit. Uh, so we'll yeah. have to wait till next week to find out. We will. Who won that? Because you're copying out. Yeah, because you're copying. I out. mean, I feel bad because I'd probably say Dill again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Who else was on my list? Just Superheroes sorry. and people from space. Mick Dundee from Crocodile Dundee. That vibe carried it. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Watched damn it. it all. Too late. To I was uh, considering do, do you know, Rocky 3 came out like 1981. I was gonna just consider just doing Rocky from Rocky 3, <laughs> 4, <laughs> 4 and 5, but then, that I, was, been good, then I was like, oh, sorry. it. Uh, actually, I'll just pick <laughs> different Sylvester Stones. He's a good boy. I do like him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Like it's pretty Sorry. Good I'm surprised he didn't vouch for your boy escape from, from New York. Hey, you got it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, because you've got a massive crush on Kurt Russell. I don't have a massive crush on Kurt Gigantic. Russell. Gigantic. <laughs> Sal here. Stop it. We had it last week as well. I'm not having your abuse yes. about Kurt Russell. Legal action has been taken. <laughs> Away from the bullying from me, thanks. Dill, I believe this week you want to talk about an issue. Oh, let's do our own jingle. Issues with the Dill now. Wow, thanks. Super touching and professional. Sorry. All right, so I just wanted to go on a bit about trailers in general. I have kind of a problem with trailers. I think first off, they're just not good for watching films in general. I think you're better off kind of going in with a clear mind and just being willing to take on whatever you're kind of going to see. Yeah. Because I think especially like now, trailers are aimed to just mass appeal. A lot of times you walk into a film having not expected. Like apparently it happened with the film Drive, which is a really good film. Mm. But they made a trailer that tried to make it out to be like a kind of heisty type action movie. Okay. And in fact, it's like a super quiet character study thing with some vague mm. curb stomping. Oh, but okay. Mostly it's like <laughs> people, a lot of people came out kind of feeling like they'd been ripped off a bit. Yeah. Didn't expect it. And I think as well, like, the whole thing with spoilers going on now, like, do you know with the Captain America Civil War um, trailer, apparently they showed Spider-Man was going to come back in that. Yeah. Whereas yeah. that was, like, two years ahead of the film. I think if you'd have actually just gone and watched the film, you would have enjoyed it much more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. suddenly there was Spider-Man, then just finding out. Yeah, because at that point, it, it already had the selling factor of being Captain America 3. You would have lost your shit. You would have screamed. I know. Popcorn. People would have screamed. Yeah. yeah. Cinema, but they kind of ruined it for that, and they didn't need to. I just yeah. think it's just like pile on kind of mentality where they just want to get all the cards out immediately. Yeah. Well, when you see like a good mark, like Deadpool's campaign, mm. it was like a really weird kind of like loads of online things and little events they put on that got a lot of news coverage. Yeah. And that does a lot better than just pelting people with names, I think. Yeah. Yeah, going back to Spider Man recently, I've had an issue with this because Sony, it seems like Sony have taken over the trailer marketing for this film. And I've yeah. seen most of the film already. Whereas yeah. most of the Marvel films are usually... T- you see some bits, and then some bits are spoiled, but mainly it's quite contained. Like if you go on YouTube, you can find 14-minute <laughs> videos of, like, yeah. click collections where they put together stuff that's been released. Mm. And I think as well, like, didn't that happen to... I'm not sure specifically of the details, but apparently with Suicide Squad, the they made that first trailer, and that first trailer was amazing. Yeah, and when the film came one. out, then uh, they, the, the director who actually made the film, he didn't have the final cut. They sent it to the trailer people, 
and they made the final cut of the film. Right. Which is apparently why it's not, it doesn't run as well as an actual film because it had a ton of extra footage yeah. where they just kind of made it from the trailer people. Yeah. You don't know how to make a cogent Yeah, it's because they cut one that was uh, done with, I think it was Bohemian Rhapsody or something like that. Yeah. And then everyone buzzed around that so much and then it was like, oh shit, we're going to have to redo all this. And yeah, so when they saw the final product, shite. they panicked and they gave it to the trailer people because they're like, people at the trailer, they'll be able to fix this. And they yeah. just did it. <laughs> No. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, DC. <laughs> yeah, that. like, I think we should just... Like, I don't particularly like reading reviews and stuff. Like, have an idea of the film. Hmm. Know who the director is and the cast is. And then just go in with an open mind. Yeah. Cause that's I think what I'm liking can... about Alien Covenant at the moment. Yeah, that that they make like a big trailer. deal to keep things quiet. Mm. I don't think what other good trailers are at the moment. Baby Driver. Have you seen that yet? Yeah, I've seen yeah. it. Is it it's, good? It's a good film, yeah. yeah. It's very... It knows what it is. We like should a, watch that. It's kind of a referential, a bit old driving kind of movie, but some really cool scenes in it. Okay. It's Edgar Wright, so yeah. I recommend anything he does. Yeah. Soundtrack's cool as well. Really good. She's only just seen Hot Fuzz recently. Oh, wow. You have some big <laughs> holes in your life. I know. <laughs> I didn't initially like it at first. Like These bits where I was just looking at Matt like, really? And then after about a week, I was like, you know what? That was pretty good. <laughs> the more you think about it. I think but, it's a huge thing when you watch a film, isn't it? Like, I think that's why Star Wars and things like that, so, and Harry Potter are so massive to certain generations. Yeah. Because you watch them when you're in, like, a big, like, 10, 11 kind of makes a big impact on the way you think stage of your life. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that's kind of those things, I think, the problem with trailers in general, just they take away from the film. That's why sometimes, like, I do love actors and stuff in them doing interviews, but sometimes they could be better if they all did all stay under the radar. You just see them in films, so you don't really think about who they're going out with or like the funny appearance on whatever chat show they're on. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I agree on that. It's a very solid point. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that that was jingle. That was the deal with the issues and the bin solved, kind of. That's countdown. I kind of joined in the countdown. So I've got next so Ah well You've had a bit of a break from competing while Dill was talking about trailers, so I thought I'd bring in the little quiz of Matt versus Dill. Cool. Hey up. So last week we had... Bring it! Okay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we could both do this for ages. Are we Sorry, testing out buzzers? <laughs> oh, we're starting out buzzers? Apparently so. <laughs> okay, what we are, are we going with just our names this week? Yeah. Um, Matt! <laughs> wait, you're going to say your name, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to say your <laughs> name. Wait, no, you're going to say my name. Yeah. I'm going to say your name. Yeah, just to mess with you. You're both going to forget that halfway through. <laughs> yeah, you probably will. This is, this is going to make it funny. All right, fine. We're yeah, is that so, okay? So what's your... Do you like to pre- Matt! Oh, there we go. Yours is... <laughs> All right. <laughs> got to get rid of that extra syllable right at the front and just straight into it. Yeah, I think one syllable works a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, just going to be... By the end of it. <laughs> it's your new name. <laughs> Right, I don't know what to do. <laughs> In life, or <laughs> if you guys don't know this, like some of these quotes, it's just gonna be we just sit awkwardly awkwardly for a few oh, seconds. No. Because some are multiple to- toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was adorable. <laughs> multiple toys. <laughs> multiple toys. Some are multiple like a baby toys. Again. <laughs> big multiple toys. So Who's if you don't know choice? it, <laughs> who's a multiple choice? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a if you don't know, we're just gonna have to move on. All right, fair because right. I can't really give you multiple ones because I don't know half of these. That's great. Well, like I said, I'm more into horror and anything other than eighties action, apparently. <laughs> then why did we choose this? I didn't. We're, we're, we're dealing with it. <laughs> okay, and also there's certain ways where these quotes are gonna be said, but I'm not gonna say it like it. One, can't do impressions. Two, it's probably funnier that way. So. All right. All right. All right, would you like the one-liners first or the multiple questions? You know what? Knock us out. One-liners. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't roll. Okay. I thought we were on the same page. Though. I'm going to say the first two because I feel like you'd know the other ones. And I'm fairly sure they're all from 80s. <laughs> if not, sue me. It's all right. Okay. And also it's from the film. Oh, not the character. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I'll give you a war you won't believe. <coughs> Sorry. I'll give you a war. <laughs> you won't, oh, no. Matt. Rambo. No. Would you like to think again? 
was the first Blood Pot 2 I was thinking of. Rambo 2? No. Oh, right. I have no idea. First Blood. Oh, it was First Blood. First First Blood. Okay. The first First Blood. I said I thought it was Rambo First Blood Part 2, which I think is what it was called. But go on. <laughs> this really weirdly names those films. <laughs> I mean... I knew it was Rambo, though, people. <laughs> if you feel like cutting these two out, you can do <laughs> Uh, you're the disease and I'm the cure. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> you're the, you're the disease. I feel like I should know that. And the other I'm questions the are so much better. I just wanted to get these two out of the way. All right. Uh, you're the disease. I'm the cure. I don't know. I don't know either. Cobra. Dill! Cobra. Oh. Okay. So sorry. sorry, what? C- Cobra. Oh. Want to got that? Okay, you'll know all of these. All right, I bet you. I was just testing you, warming you up. You did shit. (laughs) (laughs) I knew it was Rambo. (laughs) Okay, I'll be back. Matt, no. (laughs) 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 Neither has got the point. (laughs) Not (laughs) even. (laughs) Panic. I panicked as well. (laughs) You made me panic when I heard you say my name. I mean, you're okay. I was like, what? Right. Just because you've both okay. messed up, you, you can, can have, have the it. chance. All right. Uh, it's Terminator. Okay. Just so you know for next time, Dylan and Matt, yeah? All right, cool. <laughs> We're going to do this right. Okay. Right. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Dill! I said my own name again, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Matt? Uh, okay, go on then. You can have it. Oh, no, I forgot. I said the wrong name. I'll make him an offer he can't. Oh, uh, Godfather. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm saying Matt. I'm saying it. I really think I struggle with this this much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not that <laughs> That's the real horsey noise. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Laughing in discomfort. Oh, I'm a terrible person. Right. Are we carrying on? Sure. I'm sweating. Right. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm not supposed to be a horse. It's not a good day for me. <laughs> in general, not just impressions. <laughs> right. It's not the years, it's the mileage. No, that's, no, what that's not even a buzzer. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah, it's no, so weird it's, it's to do. Fine. You shout your name. Is it A New Hope? Is it Star Wars Episode 4? No. Fuck, I really thought it was. I thought oh. fucking Solo said it. <laughs> oh, that's what that means. Alright, that's uh, What is it? I don't know. Uh, Dill. Uh, Top Gun. No. What is it? Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Where does he say that? <laughs> uh, right, okay. The final one. Oh, nice. Both of you will know it. Hopefully. No, you both know it. All it's right. just who says it first and who says the right buzzer. Okay. I'm thinking about that so hard. Say hello to my little my friend. Adele. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Adele. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scarface. That's not yeah. even in the eighties. It came up. Is it might be like seventy nine or something? Oh, it's fine. I thought it was nineties. I told you to be some here and there. No, I probably sorry. Was right. You're know. fine. Oh, I don't know. I'll take one. <laughs> 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 okay, right. Is he got five? Yeah. He's denying you a point there, does. I'm not denying. We're getting crushed right. by nobody though. Here we go. <laughs> How many questions have we been through? I think that's I don't know, I've deleted them as we've gone. Oh, too many. Oh, alright, well, it's two, one out of the possible. These are multiple nine. choice and these are a lot easier. <laughs> saying that. So. Alright, I've got the buzzers in my head. What Eight. was the first Bond film released in the 80s? Matt. Dill. I mean, I was going to go through the answers, but sure. Oh, oh shit, yeah, I forgot. It's yeah. alright if you want to. Multiple choice. Yeah. Do you want to take a guess oh. now or do you want me to go through them? It's up to you. I'm happy to no, go no, to the options. No, no, you buzzed in first. So. Just, should, yeah. should we just go to the options and then do it? All right. Okay. Some have three, some have four. Some don't have any, actually. It's all right. I guarantee the I one I was thinking. I thought that was the answer. <laughs> 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 I wonder, what was that part. made? It's a weird pod <laughs> riddle. <laughs> <laughs> the title of it was a riddle. That would be amazing. Right. <laughs> okay, it's the infamous villain, Dr. Riddle. <laughs> go on. Right. I bet the one I was thinking of is an option, by the way. Licence to Kill? Nope. For Your Eyes Only? Nope. Die Another Day? No. Nope. Well, it's not Die Another Day. It's not. Wait, Dill! <laughs> oh, wait, do we have to put... All right, go on. <laughs> we're going to together I just going to... I was totally ready to give you the decide there. Uh, 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 shit. The first one. Licence to Kill? Yes. No. Can you go to the options again? <laughs> Licence to Kill, For Your Eyes Only, For Die Your Eyes Only. Day. 
Your dimples. Well, yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> for your eyes only. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> mate. Yeah. Right. Am, I, am Just, I only for I hate your this eyes? idea. Why did I come up with this? <laughs> Why is it things that I know okay. in the was my Too idea? Well. What is Indiana Jones's main weapon? Matt. Matt. No. I've got a ghost through. Oh, <laughs> should we <laughs> should we say we yeah. can buzz in early if we know it, but otherwise we can wait for the options. Okay, right. and Bill. Bill. <laughs> right. So, did I, did I yeah, get yeah, yeah. a whip? Yes. Correct, Amundo. The other options were a sword, gun, and a stick. Okay, so we can, we can buzz in early, but we can wait for the options. Right. Yeah, okay. This next one doesn't have... Options. Options. You'll both know it. It's just a matter of... It's a speed round. Okay? All right. Dill. <laughs> In Beverly Hills Cop, who plays the main character? Matt. Dill. Oh. I feel like I absolutely got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eddie Murphy? Yeah. I'm going off pace now. This will do me. In Beverly Hills Cop, Axel Foley says interviewing from Lynn Stones and has an Elias... As an Elias, sorry. Who does he say he's interviewing? A Dill. Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. of course it is. Nice. I don't know why I tried to say it like him. Under one of his personas, personas. Personas. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> personas. What disease does Axel claim to have? Mm, shall, uh, I, shall I run through them? I think because I've said it, I've got yeah, to go right. now. Okay. Yeah. But like, I think I have to go now and I can't remember. <laughs> uh, AIDS. No, would you like to? Uh, you can get the options, I think, because oh, I went in early. Dill. Lou Gehrig's. No. Oh, All right. I feel like you deserve well. the options there, but you just overruled it. Right, the three right. options, HIV, chlamydia, gonorrhea. Dill. Chlamydia. Yeah, but you've already answered, so you can't get the point anyway. <laughs> I wasn't far off with AIDS. It was an option. <laughs> that isn't really <laughs> count for anything. Option. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's cool. never an option. <laughs> Which of these films features an amazing soundtrack by Queen? Bloodsport, Willow, Highlander. Dill. Bloodsport. No. no way. Matt, um, I'm going to guess Highlander. Yeah. Oh. Bloodsport with the Queen soundtrack would be hilarious. I don't, I've never seen it. I think it's like a Van Damme film, one of those oh. stupid karate things. <laughs> so just to match like Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> over like, go on. Show, show must go on, that would be a good one at the end. Though. But go on. Who is the main character... Of my favourite film, Escape from New York. Dill! Real. Kurt Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? Kurt Russell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you knew the character. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. Do you know the character? No. Snake. No, you're very uh, close. Snake, Cobra. Snake, Snake Pliskin. No, no. Python. Film. Is it Snake Pilskin? Pliskin? No, it's Snape Pliskin. Is it Pliskin? Between you two, you, you had got it. Yeah. You got it. Cool. High five. I mean, doesn't count, but it's fine. And we're immortal. In Die Hard, what is John McClane's catchphrase? <gasps> oh, fuck. I've... Wait, give me a second. No, you got it. Oh, no. I'm having a real blank right now. Would you like the four options? I don't I don't deserve the options. I was in early. <laughs> she okay. gets the options if I can't get it. No, I know. This is a real catastrophe because I absolutely like. The options <laughs> yeah. are good. No, they're not going to help. I mean, you can say them if you like, but I don't. All right, fine. Okay. I'm, I'm backing out. It's going to take me too long to remember. You can have the options then guess, but I know you already know. He already knows. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was either Yippee Kaye, Oli Oli Oli, <laughs> Ding Dong Do, or Abracadabra. Dong Fang! <laughs> <laughs> Dong Fang, sir. Other than an action film, what type of film is Die Hard also considered? Matt. Christmas. <sighs> yeah. Very good. Thank you. And this is the final one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bastard. Point. Man. Oh, no. Okay. I've got, to, I've got to do this to tie. You'll both know it. Is there something strange in your neighbourhood? A dilt! <laughs> Ooh, that was tight. I think you might have got that. Yeah, I think I you think did. you got that. Ghostbusters. <laughs> I was hoping the question would be who's something. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to call? Oh. Is that all of them? Yeah. So oh, we've drawn. Man. We've drawn. <laughs> You've drawn and there's 19 questions in total. We only got six each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's better than it was looking. Yeah, we got, that's we got like, we got after like a while. two of nine from the hard ones. Wow. I mean, I feel like everyone was a loser. Yeah, like, they, they hey, a winner. no, if anything, we're all a winner. We're all a winner. We're all a winner. We're all a winner. <laughs> Singular winner. Singular winner. <laughs> Together we accumulate into a winner. God, I'm exhausted after that. Yeah, that was yeah. um, a disaster. I thought that would go a lot better. Oh, that was, I did warn you. 
<laughs> well, next week it's going to be horror, so make sure so you that'll are. be real oh. silence. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so long. The whole quiz was like, ah. <laughs> I'm going to get insidious for every question. <laughs> Just a heads up. That's going to be like, what's that nightmare on Elm Street? You like that one? You like that? You like that? I think you like next that week, shit? maybe ah. change your buzzers to something you're more familiar with, because that... Dude, that was funny. That held you back a lot, guys. Yeah, that lost me those first two. Because <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, all that's left is a recommendation... Unless you've got anything else to talk about to do with 80s action. I gave the recommendation last week. I know. I'm yeah. doing it this week. Oh, oh Christ. I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to know if there was any... Anything else to talk about 80s just action general. films? Yeah, between you two. Just oh, because I don't feel I'd have They are great. You yeah, just give them a shot. If you fancy just forgetting about the real world and watching something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen Terminator? No. Terminator 2? No, I've never seen, seen any of films. We should do film commentaries. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a film commentary. It'd be funny, but it'd be super irritating. Why? Just, just, I don't know. See, I feel like that's probably the thing I'd want to do drunk the most. A film commentary? Yeah. We're just getting we'll, just go, we'll get drunk and go to a cinema and <laughs> just talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. with the... With the Recorder yeah, out, just see how we're doing. You out. We're, we're not. We're doing it for a thing. We're not trying to sell it or anything. No. Is that your, <laughs> I mean, that's your crime. You know, voice. That's what everyone. That's <laughs> my crime voice. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm doing a crime. Oh, you, you stop! Shot <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about? <laughs> wow. That was a solid impression of his impression. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, uh, anyway, but no, yeah, you recommend the way. Uh, any oh, of those films, Aliens. Oh, wait, you've seen Alien. Yeah. You've seen Aliens. No. I know, my dad really wants me to watch them too. Yeah. Uh, you can skip Alien 3, I think. Thanks. Go on away from that. What else is there? There's Batman. Yeah. I'm just going through all my ones that I had before, really, but there's some really good ones. You love Escape from New York. Yeah. Sylvester Stallone. Find Sylvester Stallone. Watch Stallone. That's my advice. That's my stomach. Oh dear. Original Dread. Judge Dread. Yeah. Some piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) But worth watching. You still need to watch uh, the Star Wars from the 80s because you've seen A New Hope but you've not seen Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, as a host of a film podcast, I sound like I'm doing pretty shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else was from the 80s. We'll judge on your recommendation as well. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't think so. What is your recommendation for next week? Um, it's horror slash foreign film so I could have waited but I really want to see what you guys think of it, and it's Train to Busan. Yeah, I guess that, that wasn't a horror film. It's based like as an infection, so it'd still be classified as a horror. You lied to me. You said that wasn't a horror film. You're not going to be scared of it, Matt. I don't like them. I don't give a shit. It's <laughs> horror next week. <laughs> oh. It's not scary, honestly. It's just really well done. <laughs> like, like a it's state. subtitled. And it's in Busan as well, so. Everyone wants to see films about Busan. Exactly. <laughs> it's a huge tourist destination. <laughs> well, it's a train to Busan, so it's not... Oh, so you never get to Busan. You'll have to see. Oh. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. <laughs> and it's subtitled, but are you up for that? I feel like yeah. you're, you're not looking forward to Horror Week. Sorry. Let's do it. Oh, she's going to sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> that was such an exciting... <laughs> I was I like, you just seen your, like, your first child score a goal in football. <laughs> Bless you. She did, back of the net. Oh. Uh, dirty. You're nasty. I was just warning the listeners just in case they got shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you guys to uh, have a heart attack or anything. I did my hiccup laugh. Today. Yeah. That's all right. Oh, wow. Do you want to just chat for a bit? Or? Do you want to chat? We can chat for a bit. Just leave this at the end. <laughs> Let's have a normal, natural conversation. Yeah. All Let's, right. Do you want to sign us out? Or... Yeah, I'll sign us out, and then if you want to talk, you can talk. All right. Cheers, Mum. Hey. Okay. I'm not saying that. You're not calling a mum. <laughs> what happened? We're going with the whole boys theme. And they got all weird and You've called me mum before. Accidentally. We <laughs> <laughs> no, we're continuing that story. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Like> not. <laughs> Alright, off air then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, no, oh. Hey, go on.
<laughs> I don't not like that. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it worse almost if you'd have just kept quiet about it. It's definitely like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening to Tripod Talk. Thanks. Part <laughs> of our broadcasting day. I won't be here next week if Matt carries on. Hey. And then it'll just uh, be the boys. Yeah. Nah, we'll miss you. <laughs> get MLG <laughs> no I'm not going to do any more impressions I've had a shit day yeah they've been hit and miss like a hit <laughs> <laughs> and 30 Several. misses what was the hit uh, the crime voice yeah <laughs> <laughs> crime voice was a keeper give me your money <laughs> anyway go on so. yeah. I don't know how to follow that I've been Sophie Ellis I've been Matt Ledster I've been a Dylan Moore and that's been Tripod Talk see ya Say yeah. Bye. Unless you want to stick around for a bit, we're just going to chat for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, mum. <laughs> no, it's just an accidental. I can't remember what scenario we were in. I remember where we were sat because I just looked at you like. I still vividly remember when I was like eight or nine in primary school and I called the teacher mum. Oh, that's like, a horrifying experience, yeah. yeah. Never mind if you call your girlfriend mum. Right. <laughs> what were we doing? I don't know. It wasn't what you think. No, it, it wasn't weird. It was like. <laughs> like I passed you something and you said thanks mum and I was like <laughs> what was it was mom? it in like a kitchen context like you re- you remember like being a kid helping your mum make dinner or something I don't no know. we were in the bedroom because you, you were doing something was to do the TV <laughs> <laughs> thanks mum <laughs> oh I have no idea what kind of so family issues this is flashbacks <laughs> it's all the drains from my face oh god that's repressed oh this my levels. god this got dark no it's not really no it's fine because you repressed it you dealt with it. <laughs> I mean, it means you've moved on. If you had a refreshed it, then it'd be an issue. It's a top coping me- mechanism. Mechanism. Me- mechanism. <laughs> uh, what are you doing after the show? Uh, <laughs> you basically know my plans. Let's go home. Yeah. Yeah. You having dindins? Probably, yeah. Yeah. It'll be a prince's pie. Which everyone comes oh, to yeah. Did every, is it a gross thing? Is it like accepted as gross? No, I love that. See, I love it, but my like housemate's taking the piss of me like I'm a real skitty kind of person. Why? Because like, he was like, that's just grim. Like, you open a cat, you use a cat opener and a pie. Oh, no, I like that. Like, how gross. But that, they got me through uni. Those are like. Are they the ones pieces. that's got like the really soft bit in the middle, like the, the gooey pastry? Like in the middle, think so they're like the quite big, like Frey Bentos type ones. Yeah, like, and then you you could like do it like a can opener, and then you stick it in the oven. Yeah, and it's got like a gooey bit in the middle. Yeah, some of it has like it's like pastry, and then underneath it's just like this soft gooey bit. Yeah, I know what you mean now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, cool. When, when I used to have it with my family, my parents used to have the actual pie, and they used to just give me the gooey bit on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't even get part of the pie. <laughs> Oh yeah, I thought that was a choice. <laughs> that wasn't a choice. No. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. <laughs> they used to have the actual pie, just in case I didn't like it. They didn't was want to waste it. Was this when you were like it. eight months old, or like when you were fully? No, no this like, was last week. <laughs> no, this is like twelve and under. So like, you still should be having an adult meal, though. Yeah, oh. but I just had goo and broccoli. <laughs> goo and broccoli <laughs> sounds like a diet book. Yeah. <laughs> Not a very good one. Goo and broccoli, the honest way to a better body. <laughs> You've already wrote it. <laughs> That's it. That's the selling phrase yeah. right there. Like, I'm not going to bullshit you. That that would be my whole angle with it. <laughs> of like anything that tastes good, you like the look of that's brown, like chocolate or chicken. I guess I'm going to pretend chicken's brown. <laughs> 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 just avoid anything that looks like it tastes good. And just eat goo and broccoli. Sorry, I'm doing that at the moment. I'm just eating chicken and broccoli. He but says, "Yeah, I'm a subway for dinner." All right. I had a shaken rat meal for lunch, to be fair. A little grass. We had a Subway for dinner and a beer. A couple of days ago, <laughs> we had a takeaway. The day before that, we had McDonald's. Yeah, but All it's, right. a, it's a process, man. <laughs> yeah, they were <laughs> cheap days. Don't try and act like you're on a proper good diet. I was for a week. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I, I had like two it. cheat days and I'm back into it again. I had a beer today, that's all right. And a packet of crisps. Yeah. And a Subway. No, you're not back onto it today. You had a Subway. <laughs> Shut up. That's all right. I didn't have anything else apart from my measles this morning. It's like the worst six. sub that you can get, the meatball marinara. No, it's not. It's the best sub that you can it get. It is, but for your health. And like Subway, so I think feel like people kid themselves with Subway. Like it's a sandwich. They're like, it's not that bad. <laughs> so it's only breaded meat. And it's like, well, no, it's not. It's like 70% salt and just mm. like unassorted 
fatty substrate that just shit in there. God, on it. I just don't want to know what Donna meat is properly made out of. No, you don't. No, you don't. I do. You don't. I'd still love it, mate. It's a bit of like Turkish, like animal ends. Is it? Like it's real grim shit. It's like offcuts. They just put it together and mash it. Then why does it taste that good then? Because it's they meat like a load and they just mashed it. It's a load of salt and oil. Super oily. To be fair, if it's still meat, I'm all right. You think it's fine health wise? <laughs> health wise, no. But you're just happy with I'm it. I'm happy consuming it as long as it's not dog. That's <laughs> weird though. I'd eat dog. <laughs> I couldn't eat dog. I could eat any other animal, not dog. I'd feel hypocritical to eat any animal and not dog. Because then I'm like saying there's a difference, but it's still that animal. Like, there's yeah. no, it's no better eating a cow than a dog. Yeah. Would you eat a kitten? I could taste it good. I wouldn't voluntarily. Well, you wouldn't. We've had this conversation. What about if you were a guest at someone's house and they served you kitten? Would you say, like, and if it was in like a culture where, like, it's super rude to say no? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, I'm sure there's, like, a thing with, like, those kind of Asian cultures where... If your life you, depended you on it. You have to try it. You have to eat food with them because it's rude if you go to someone's house and they don't feed you. I don't know. So, I'll probably be all right in kitten. Dog's different. Dog's are just... But, like, when it gets to it, it's still the same stuff in there. It's just meat. I know, That's why but when I had pigeon, dogs. Pigeon's really nice if you've had proper pigeon. But... I was super Where have you had pigeon? I was like a work Christmas party at some posh place and then pigeon was an option and I was like oh fine that'll do better than soup <laughs> <laughs> How would you would go about doing that then? You cook it like It was an ultra No I know it was that like a lump. How would you and it, was, it wasn't like a lump it looked like a kind of chicken breast but it was all just like so clearly there's only one good part of a pigeon that's good meat so it's kind of like the wing type like inside there oh, and they just okay. it's like a kind of bundle of it there and then just put a lot of green shit and That's mash made me and stuff. Hungry. Yeah, sorry. It's nice. <laughs> How did he catch him then? I was watching. Um not too hard. You like just walk up behind you just walk up pick one up as a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid as fuck. Come here. You don't. You just go like the <laughs> pigeon <person. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the trip yesterday. And then that got me like super. I've never really watched it properly. I don't know if hmm. you've seen it. No. It's like Steve Cooker and Rob Brynion go on like a road trip. Oh. And they just talk oh, a lot of shit together. Right, yeah. And they go to like really expensive restaurants and it really pisses me off. Like I'd love to be able to eat in, do you know, like 150 quid for a meal for two people type restaurants. Yeah. Like something like that. Mm. But we're like the little, like I always used to think as a kid, I'd rather just get like a KFC bucket than that. Because I was like, I was all about volume with food. <laughs> I just want like a lot. So I'm That's full. me now. I'm still like that now, but like I then have after my bucket, <laughs> that'd be my bucket. Be like the eleven o'clock treat. But like, yeah, I'd go at like six, seven ish to there and have like some posh ass veal or whatever. Yeah, some posh ass veal. <laughs> Bad name, posh ass veal. That's, that's the name of the spin-off show. <laughs> posh ass, where we go to expensive restaurants and like review stuff. <laughs> or just talk is like a real like talk real common. <laughs> like a really posh restaurant. Like, All right, you prof. do fish and chips. <laughs> Yo, you got gravy with this. This is your mash, yeah. Gravy. <laughs> you got gravy. Hey, you got you got John Smith's. <laughs> Love a planet John Smith's, mate. So we're we 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 own, eh? Are we eating when we go home? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <What's that? laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, people definitely don't want to hear about this. Why are we still oh, we still recording? Yeah. Oh, I thought we stopped ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> we just left it recorded. I'll stop it here then.